Okay, so uh, good afternoon to everybody for this uh, final workshop of the uh, Values uh, Project. So my name is uh, Lucien Hoffmann. I'm the director of the Erin uh, department at least, and I just want to take five minutes to briefly present list to those who uh, maybe are for the first time here in Luxembourg and uh, at least. So LIST is a research and technology uh, organization, so we are not a, a university. Uh, our aim is to do, uh, or our mission is to do uh, impact-driven uh, research and to, to bring uh, ideas, results from, from research and bring them uh, to the market, to products, to solutions that can be used by societies, that can be used uh, by different, uh, by the companies, so to really deploy innovative uh, solutions to develop new technologies that uh, uh, find a, a, a real use uh, at the end. And so we position ourselves in the technology readiness level between uh, three and seven, so to develop uh, applied research, to develop demonstrators, prototypes, and of course, the more we, we move to, to the right, to the mass production, uh, we more and more work together with uh, administrations, with private companies, that uh, with final users that will uh, develop or use and uh, uh, these products, these services, uh, and implement them in reality. Uh, LIST is uh, part of a whole ecosystem that develops now since a couple of years uh, here in the south of Luxembourg. So we are here in a former industrial area. There's still a steel factory that is uh, functioning some 500 meters uh, from here, but before all of this, it was an uh, industrial area with a steel uh, factory that were dismantled uh, over after the 1970s when there was a steel production decline in uh, our area, in many areas in Europe. And if you have the occasion, uh, still in the central uh, place of Belleville, you see, still see uh, remains of this uh, industry uh, to remind us of, uh, let's say, one of the first important uh, industries that uh, helped to develop the wealth in Luxembourg before, before Luxembourg was a completely rural agricultural area, a very poor country, then was steel industry developed in the 90s, at the end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century, then with the decline of the uh, steel industry in the 70s, uh, then the financial sector took up, which is still very important, but as you know, it's something that is very volatile, and so the government decided to diversifies its economy not only to be on the financial pillar. And uh, one of these pillars uh, should be, let's say, to develop Luxembourg towards a, a knowledge society. And so with this, uh, it was decided to invest a lot here in this uh, research uh, and innovation ecosystem with uh, the research centers like LIST that were created, but also the University of Luxembourg that was, is even younger than, than LIST that, was, uh, also, that is also now here on the site. And then you have other important actors uh, in the innovation and uh, research uh, ecosystem like the National Research Fund to fund our projects like the Values uh, Project, uh, but also Lux Innovation, which makes a link to the industrial, to the industrial sector. Now LIST is coming, uh, is a very recent uh, organization, only three, four years old, so it was created 1st of January 2015. Uh, coming out of the merger of two former research institutions, which were called uh, uh, CRP Henri Tudor and CRP uh, Lippmann. And in fact, this project started before the merger of the, of the list. And this was, let's say, a little bit announcing the, the collaboration, because in that uh, project bef between these two research centers, there was already a collaboration between uh, researchers, especially in the ecosystem services part uh, at CRP Henri Tudor and let's say the more um, environmental part, uh, remote sensing, uh, biodiversity that were uh, coming from uh, CRP Gabriel Lippmann. In the uh, list there are three departments with about uh, 450 uh, staff. Uh, list in total is about 600 staff and uh, so besides the environmental department, you have a materials department and an IT uh, department that is especially active in developing innovative uh, services. Uh, concerning the activities of uh, our department, the Erin department, so we work on the one hand on the natural capital to better understand natural uh, resources, to better understand ecosystems, resources like water, renewable energy, but also, of course, the bioresources, including biodiversity, but also 
let's say, biomass that is produced through agricultural activities. Uh, and uh, this uh, worked also on how to use in a sustainable way these uh, resources uh, like uh, as ecosystem services, the impact of climate change, uh, the impact of environmental hazards on uh, human and economic activities. So how these uh, systems, these services can be used uh, in a sustainable way for production and consumption uh, of uh, human uh, activities. And on the other hand, uh, we develop uh, new tools, new uh, technologies to reduce the uh, environmental footprint of human activities on the natural uh, resources. And you see that there is a general frame be, be, uh, that is uh, uh, framing the whole. Uh, we also look at the whole uh, system uh, using uh, sustainability indicators, uh, life cycle assessment uh, approaches to really look at the whole uh, system uh, of the environmental impact on uh, natural uh, resources. And so it's uh, today, uh, one project that will be presented uh, today is uh, the values project that really falls in this important uh, activity of our department to really look at the ecosystem services that can be provided uh, by natural resources, how to valorize them in a sustainable way, how, how also to, uh, let's say, to quantify uh, these ecosystem services, uh, which is, of course, a very important uh, part uh, to give value to these ecosystem services. And uh, we, after this uh, project, I think this was more or less one of the first projects we had on uh, <laughs> ecosystem services, uh, afterwards a number of other projects developed in the framework of national or uh, European uh, projects. And so I wish you a very nice uh, w workshop uh, and hope to see very many interesting uh, results uh, that uh, you will show us this afternoon. Thank you very much.